Hello and welcome back. I'm Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos and it is vlog day today. So happy to see every single one of you. So we are going to be announcing the winner to the mica powders. I'll be doing that here in a little bit. I'll probably do that at the end because this morning I want to, I have a tumbler that I want to show you that I bought from one of you guys out there. So this is from Miss Javita Styles. This is, this is her card. How cute is that? That's like actually a, a tumbler that she made with her logo and stuff like that on there. Isn't that cute? So there's her card and this is what I bought from her. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I just, it is just, I can't even. Look at the colors. Just gorgeous. Now, um, I seen this on TikTok and I don't, let me get a, look at those colors. That's focusing on me. There we go. Look at those colors. Just gorgeous. Now, I don't know if she has a tutorial on this. Um, I'd have to go back and look, but uh, I'll make sure to put all her her stuff down in the description box. And she sent me a little, it, it has her logo on there. See, it's her logo. But I'll make sure to put all her information down in the description box. And she may have some TikToks showing how she did this. I don't know. I'm not too sure, but like I said, I'll make sure to put her information down there for you guys to check her out. But this is just absolutely stunning. I fell in love with it when I, when I seen it on her, on her little short videos that she made. I was like, I gotta have one. And I, I just can't get over it. Just stunning. But she also sent me which she didn't have to. It was very kind of her to do that. Thank you so, so much, Jovita. She sent me this really cute keychain, and it actually really matches uh, my purse that I have. I have like natural tone purse, but I want to make a bangle to go with this because I really like carrying my keys on a bangle because I put it on my arm, and so that way I don't have to find try to find it in my bag and whatnot. But I want to try to make a bangle to match this so that way I can have it with me all the time because that is just super duper cute. I love how that turned out. So we'll be doing that today. And I have my tutorial from Friday, my, my two-tone wood look. I really, I really like how that came out. I was so nervous when I, when I put that one color on, I, I was nervous, but I already knew that once you put epoxy and everything over it, everything kind of tones down a bit, any, any type of alcohol ink, you know, that stuff's really pigmented, but man, makes the most beautiful wood color. Just really, really pretty, but I'm glad that you guys enjoyed that tutorial. And last weekend I talked about how I wanted to make, or try to make, we're going to see, <laughs> coasters to, or a coaster to match this. So I have two different concepts that I'm going to be doing. We'll see. I don't know yet. We'll just have to wait and see. I'm not sure. So <laughs> so pretty much today we're going to be molding up our stuff today. And then next Sunday we'll probably demold it and I'll get that shown to you guys. But make sure you guys stick around to the end so I can, I'll announce the winners then, okay? But wa watch me, watch me mold up my stuff here first though. All right, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. I got my drink, my beautiful, beautiful drink. Look at that. Look at that shine. Oh my goodness gorgeous just gorgeous anyways i got my drink and i'm ready to wake up prep these tumblers and slay all day let's do this okay so first things first i gotta come through and clean up these coasters they're looking they're looking a little shabby okay <laughs> so i'm actually going to be using just a regular square four by four coaster and i'm also going to be using that circular with the diamond cut pattern on the on the edges because I don't quite know yet which one I want to use, but I'm leaning more towards the four by four for this, you know, since it already will kind of have that, that diamond look that we want. Before I go any further, this is for the tumbler that we've been working on. I said I wanted to try to make a coaster to match it. So that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> Just in case you guys were like, what are we doing here? <laughs> so I have some epoxy mixed up. I'm going to divvy off a little bit of that epoxy into another dish because I'm going to be using two colors in my square one and just one color in, in the, the round one. Now in the cup that has the most epoxy because... 
Uh, my white's going to be the majority of the, of the coloring here. I'm going to go ahead and put the matching glitter that I used for the tumbler right into that. And I, I believe I used Starlight for that. The thing that I have to say about when doing coasters is that if you don't use enough glitter, then the glitter might sink and then you'll just have clear and then glitter, you know what I mean? But if you use too much, then it's going to really thicken up your epoxy. So it's like you don't want to add too much, but you don't want to add not enough. So pretty much what I do is I like to let my epoxy kind of warm up a bit and that really helps out. It kind of keeps that, that glitter kind of stabilized and you know, suspended inside of it to uh, help, so that way you don't have any of those clear spaces. So I, I do like to let my epoxy warm a bit, probably about 30 minutes or so when using regular set epoxy. To the other cup that I have there with the one that doesn't have as much epoxy in it, I'm gonna go ahead and add that blue glitter color that I used for the tumbler as well. So this is Lovebirds and I'm just going to put that in and mix that up really good. So like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and stir these glitters in. I'm gonna push it off to the side and let it sit for about 30 minutes. I'll stir it one more time, just very gently. And not only will this help the bubbles rise to the top so you don't have to worry about all that, uh, it'll also help that suspension of your glitter inside your epoxy. All right, let's move on to the fun stuff. Let's mold up our glitters here. So working with my, my, my four by four coaster here, I'm gonna go ahead and take my blue glitter and I'm just going to outline completely the the perimeter around the outside of my coaster with the blue because if you guys remember my my tumbler has like the jagged blue edges and that's kind of what I'm going for with this and hopefully it works out <laughs> sorry if you can hear my children in the background uh they're watching bluey and every time the bluey thing theme song comes on they have to scream the song so sorry about that <laughs> I believe I had a question a little bit back. I remember reading it. Uh, they asked a question about uh, molds and how do you tell which side is the top side or, you know, what, what side will be the right side up, you know? For, so for this particular mold, because of how it's shaped, I know that anything that gets laid down first is going to be what's shown. That will be the top side. So it'll have the uh, corners up or the sides up, it'll have like a pronounced sides to it, you know what I mean? But the circular one, you could use either side as the top or the bottom, it, it doesn't matter, it all depends on what you wanna put into it. So usually I, I put everything face down into it, so it's like reverse as I work my way out and making the coaster. But like when I do this one here, I'm actually going to be uh, making whatever the last layer is of epoxy, the, the top of, of my, my coaster, I hope that made sense. I don't know. I'll have to listen to that back. Oh my goodness. <laughs> all right. Anyways, maybe I'll, I'll uh, kind of go over that one more time next week after I demold all this. Okay. Maybe it'll make more sense then. Okay. <laughs> anyways, now that the blue is down, I'm going to go ahead and lay the white or our white glitter epoxy mixture right over top. And as you can see, it's kind of dispersing over the blue. And so my hope is that it'll have those jagged edges just like the tumbler after we demold it. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill that up a bit. And then I'm gonna fill up the rest of my epoxy mixture right over into my round mold here. Now I don't want it too full, so the amount that I'm putting there is okay. I wish I could have put a little bit more in there. I ended up using a little too much in my other mold, but this will this will do it, I think. So I'm like I said, I'm going to be working on this design on top of this mixture that I'm putting in there. So what usually is the bottom will be my top. So I'm kind of doing it differently on this one. Okay. <laughs> Now, after I scrape out all the epoxy that's in that cup, because we want every last little drop, I'm gonna go ahead and take it and kind of swirl it around so that way I know that that epoxy is touching all sides of our coaster mold. Now, I still had a little bit of that blue left in my cup, and I'm gonna go ahead and pour that right around the perimeter one last time, just giving a little bit more of that blue coloring right around the edges of our coaster mold. And to help out any little air pockets that might got it stuck down in there as I was pouring everything in, I'm just going to give it a little tap. I do hit it up really quickly with my with my heating source here, with my with my little torch. You just want to be very careful when you do that. You don't want to hit up your mold. You could mess up your mold, but just very quick motions and that should be good. So now I'm just going to set it off on my flattest surface possible, which is over by my turner. And I'm going to let those cure and then we'll finish those up next weekend. All right, so let's do that bangle I was telling you guys about. I want it to match this beautiful keychain. So I'm just kind of focusing on some of the coloring. As you can see here, I don't know what the, it's not 
cheetah, but it's not quite leopard. My husband said it was a uh, shepherd because it's a mix of leopard and, and cheetah anyways so i'm just gonna try to play off the colors that are in that for this bangle so i'm gonna take my uv resin because i want to do that 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 shepherd look the leopard cheetah print look i'm gonna say leopard it looks to me more leopard anyways i'm gonna take a little bit of my uv resin and i'm going to color that a bit with just a brown alcohol ink and i actually did about two drops of it down into my my uv resin which i didn't show here i did add another drop down into it so i'm gonna go ahead and mix that up really good but i wanted it kind of translucent almost like the keychain so that like i said that, that's what that's what I was playing off of here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my bangle mold and I have to open it up and I'm gonna use my little silicone tool to etch out my shapes here. So I'm just gonna take a little dab of this and I'm gonna do my little, my little leopard uh, spots here. And after a little, every little grouping that I did, I probably did about three to four about at a time. I would come through with my UV light, hit it up really quick and then close up the mold so that way it would form to the shape of my mold because I felt like if I would have heated it up too much, or not heated up, but cured it too much with it open, then it wouldn't want to fold and, and, and curve with the, with the mold. So you want to make sure that you hit it up just a tad to kind of get it set so that way it doesn't run anywhere. And then go ahead and close your, your coaster, or your, your coaster, oh my goodness. <laughs> go ahead and close your bangle mold so that way it can have that, that form to it. And you guys have any issues with your gloves? It's like, I can't find the, the right size gloves. Like I need kind of bigger gloves, but I have short fingers. So then I have to like really pull back the gloves. Anyways, they're always getting in my way. So <laughs> I'm just going to continue on this motion where I kind of do this, this leopard print look, just kind of dabbing the UV resin and making sure that I, I get it all the way up around each corner uh, of my mold here. So let me just bring you down a little bit closer so you can see. So this is all I'm doing. I think leopard spots are probably one of the easiest uh, animal prints to do, you know, but you could obviously do any type of animal print you want. I think zebra is probably pretty easy too. You just kind of do like a V shape off each side, if you guys know what I'm talking about. We might have to play around with that. I don't know. But you just want to do just very basic little, little cheetah print right up in there just like that and hit it up with your UV light. And this is what I have so far. This is how it's looking. And I don't want to do the entire bingle. My idea is to do kind of half and half because I want half of it to be a mica powder mixture and I want the other half to be glitter. So this half with the leopard print is gonna have the mica over top of it. I think that'd be a good mix for it. So, so that way the, that leopard is really pronounced in there. And then the other half will have the sparkly glitter. And after I was done, I just came through and hit it up really good with my UV light, making sure that it was completely cure before I move on to applying my mixtures into over the top of them. So about 30 milliliters of epoxy here. It's already mixed up and ready to go for us. So I'm going to take some of that epoxy mixture. I'm going to divvy it off into my other cup because like I said, one half is going to be sparkly, the other half mica. And into the one that has a little bit more epoxy, I'm gonna go ahead and add my mica mixture. This is called Fawn. Can you guys tell which ones are my favorite? I've been using Fawn and Arlo quite a bit, but I'm just saying, you know, they're really pretty. I, I like them. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up really good. And into my other cup, I'm gonna add a bit of coffee cake. This is really pretty champagne opal gold glitter. And of course, after I mix these up, I'm going to set those off to the side just so that way those bubbles rise to the top, which will really help out when you go to mold up this little bangle mold here. Now I am ready to go ahead and I'm going to apply my glitter first because like I said, I want more of the mica mixture uh, than I do of the glitter. So when I go to apply the mica mixture, it will kind of overlap over top of the gold and kind of push back on it. So that's why I went ahead and I added the glitter first. So I'm gonna do about halfway up with it. You see, I'm just letting it kind of drip down over top of the slit that's in the top for the mold. I'm not too worried about if it gets on the mold itself because we're gonna come through and kind of clean it up a bit with our popsicle sticks to clean off any extra. Now I'm gonna go ahead and come through and do the same thing where I apply my mica epoxy mixture right over top of where our leopard or shepherd, I don't know, whatever you guys wanna call it, uh, spots. 
So after I get that all filled in, you'll see me come through with my popsicle stick and I'll start to kind of scrape the top and see if anywhere else needs to be filled in. So I just go back and forth with each color filling in until it's not fully to the top of my mold. You don't want it fully to the top. And then I come through and I just scrape, making sure that I clean up those edges really good. And I'll show you guys how I like to finish up my bangles because I know a lot of people they'll do bangles and they don't understand how to finish them up. They're that's super easy. You know, it really is. And like I said, they're, they're a lot of fun to make too. And then just to finish it up, I'll pinch around the edges, which really helps out those bubbles that might be trapped inside of there from applying the epoxy down into the mold. So I give it a couple pinches around the edges, and then I'm going to set that off to the side, just like I do with my coasters and the flattest area possible. And then we'll finish this up next week. Well, I'm really excited for that bangle. I cannot wait to see how that turns out. So we'll have to wait and see next next Sunday how that turns out, but I'm very excited for it. <laughs> Hopefully it turns out the way I want it to. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> all right, so let's pick a winner for my, my whole set of mica powders, all six colors, okay? So let me go ahead, I got my computer sitting here. I'm gonna go ahead and get, it's just a random name picker that I'm using. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that rolling here. Let's see, okay, it's going. And the winner is option Christina I. I, I think that's <laughs> I think that's what it is. Okay. <laughs> All right. Option. Why don't you go ahead and email me at Sandy's Organized Chaos at gmail.com with your information and I'll get those shipped out to you. Now there were so many people that responded last last weekend. I I tried reading everything that I could and all that. There, were, there was a lot of you guys. There was like 245 comments and I feel like I should pick another winner. I don't know. What do you guys think? You're like, yes. <laughs> so let's pick one more winner. Okay. All right, here we go. All right. And the next or the last one, the next one <laughs> is Catherine Renee Stevens. So again, Catherine and option. Make sure you guys email me at sandysorganizedchaos at gmail.com. I got to go back through and I'm find their comments too from last week and uh, type it out in there too so they know as well. Well, I think that's going to do it for me today, guys. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, an amazing rest of your week, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.